Hi, this is Charles Matthews. I'm the architect here with Grizzly Bear Architecture and Design. And today we're looking at how to estimate architectural services based on the construction cost per square foot method. All right, so today we're looking at how to estimate architectural services costs by the construction cost per square foot method. Now, this is a, uh, a common thing that uh, an architect would need to do. They would need to tell a client how much their services are going to cost. And so that's what this video is helping us do, helping us understand how to do that, how to estimate architectural services costs by the construction cost per square foot. We look at the overall process uh, and you have a challenge. Uh, it's not a big challenge, but it's a challenge nonetheless, in that each job that you encounter is different. Each job that you as an architect have is a custom design. So there are gonna be things that you run into that are variations. So each job is different. There are multiple unknowns. There are a lot of different things that you don't know that could happen during the course of the job. Uh, things related to the design of the building, things related to the job site, uh, things related to the occupants of the building, things related to the various consultants. So when you have a situation where there are multiple unknowns, uh, you deal with that as best you can, but you realize that there is a, a certain amount that you cannot know. The, the whole job hasn't happened yet. And this would be a good time to mention the importance of tracking and comparing so that you, when you give an estimate, uh, you can do so based on knowledge of all the previous work that you've done before. So your challenge uh, of each job being different, having multiple unknowns, uh, there is an expectation for estimating a job uh, that is a really close number. Okay, you want to try to get as close as possible in your estimation for architectural services. Next, we look at construction costs. Uh, the construction costs, uh, in some cases, they may be floated by the contractor until the project is over to a point. Uh, other arrangements require that at certain key milestones, the contractor receives a disbursement of funds. So as far as you, the architect, is concerned, uh, you're not going to actually know your final construction costs until the project is over, until the building has been built. So if there is a possibility of deferring billing until the project is over, that is a uh, a way of determining the exact construction costs. And a way that that could be done is setting up a baseline according to key milestones throughout the whole process and definitely adding into, by way of your agreement with the client, construction management services so that if you have uh, construction management services, you can be a part of the whole process through the end of the building and have greater access to the cost related details. And finally, a baseline cost is established through estimates and is updated over the course of the project at milestones. So as an architect, you have certain steps in your process and the milestones that you reach are at schematic design, at design development, and at construction documents. And so uh, having contractors perform estimates during those times can assist you greatly in making sure that the project is fitting within the client's, uh, the client's budget. So how do we do this? Well, what I'm giving you is a big picture view of how this is done. Uh, there has so much detail that can be done in getting into each of the steps and that detail is going to vary based on the type of project you have and so we first of all look at determining the area this is something that is really simple to do you 
find the area of the building. And let's say for purposes of this illustration that it's 3,000 square feet. Next, you determine the co construction costs. Uh, and like I said, again, you're going to be getting estimates from general contractors at the milestones. So let's say you end up with an average price of about $300,000 for determining the construction costs. Well, we keep on going, and from there, you divide the $300,000 by the 3,000 square feet, and you end up with a construction cost per square foot, which is $100 by way of a simple division. Next, you look at the percentage of the construction fee. You may have set your percentage fee at 10%. Some people set it at 5 to 8 percent. It varies. It varies based on the project, the client, the size of the project, uh, the region that you're located in. But the percentage of the construction fee is, is basically a given. So uh, if you take 10 percent of the hundred dollars per square foot, then that amount is ten dollars. So what you're saying is it's going to cost you ten dollars for every square foot in order to complete the architectural drawing set and finally we multiply we look at the cost for architectural drawings as being the ten dollars we arrived at multiplied by the area which is three thousand square feet and we end up with thirty thousand square i'm sorry thirty thousand dollars so that's the uh, total estimated cost for architectural drawings based on the construction cost per square foot method. Uh, this may be helpful for you in various situations as an architect trying to assess the cost. Um, it, it's going to vary, and so you have to use your judgment in order to determine which method you are going to use. Hi, this is Charles Matthews. Just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. If you have any thoughts or comments, feel free to leave those below. Visit our website at grizzlybeararchitecture.com. This video is one in a series of videos that address various issues surrounding architecture and our practice of architecture and grizzly bear architecture. And uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, I'd really appreciate those. Thanks.